Today we're going to show you how to make chicken fried steak. I have my lovely helpers here. Hello. Hello. All right. So to make chicken fried steak, you need crackers, which you will then smash up into fine little pieces here, which we use the roller. You could, you could do that, or you can mash it with a fist, whatever you want to do, but break them up into small little crumbs. Then you need flour, milk, milk eggs. eggs, and then what kind of meat do we have here? Um, I think most stores call it cube steak. Cube steak. Or cutlets. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Okay, all right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and crack the eggs and prepare the flour. So before, we need to do this so far. So far we've, I've kind of cut some of the fat out, seasoned it with salt and pepper and some country boys, and Tyler helped me tenderize it a little, make it extra tender. Yeah, can you show us again, Tyler? We didn't quite get that. There you go. All right. So, so especially if you're frustrated from being inside from a coronavirus, <laughs> you could use it to tenderize the meat. There you go. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right. So Colton, do you want to crack the eggs? No. Please crack the eggs for me. This bowl? Yep, that bowl right there. Tyler. Yeah. While he's cracking the egg, I'm gonna want you to get some flour. Let me get you a little scoop for it. Okay, put it in the sink. Scoop maybe, maybe about one and a half of those. Put it in here. Colton, there's one more crack. Yeah. Can you give me a knife so I can spread it off? Oh no, it, it doesn't have to be measured. When you bake, when you bake, it needs to be measured. Even that probably looks good enough. So go ahead and close that up. Colton, one more egg. And then Tyler, you can dump these cracker crumbs in that bowl. I like to use a bigger bowl for the cracker crumbs so you have more room to spread it out and get it really nicely on your steak. Okay, wash your hands, buddy. Okay. Then I also like to add a little milk to the eggs. Everybody can use this the fork, kind of carefully break up the eggs, just kind of mix it all together. I'm going to have to turn it this way and kind of go. Okay, looks good. Another little tidbit that I don't do all the time, but we'll do today. <laughs> open this new one because I'm out of the other one is to season your flour so then your steak is is extra seasoned hmm? I ain't giving away all the secrets that I, I know ate. and this is what we've been using lately country boys country boys you get at H-E-B at Kroger I don't think carries it it's very so good just... okay mix it around a little bit all right, now, come see assembly line. Very important. Yes, flour first, and then your egg and milk mixture, and then your cracker crumbs. All right. So let's we'll rotate this around. Put this over here. Tyler, will you help me slide that the first step down? Okay. And then have a plate at the end for once we've got the steaks ready to be fried. All right, who wants to do the flour? Which, which one do you want to do, Tyler? Country boys. Uh, flour, I guess. Very okay. good. So you're gonna be the front. Tyler, which one are you gonna do? And Colton, which one are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. What? So pick up the steaks, put it in the flour, flip it over, make sure the flour gets all the way on the steak. Colton, why don't you come do the egg, and then I'll do the cracker crumbs. Just like that? Okay. Do it a little more, see where it's still, you wanna get a lot of flour on it. I'm gonna put Tyler back in here. That way the, yep, that looks good. Now drop it into the egg wash, egg mix. Colton, you can use the fork if you'd like, since yours is a little messier. And then once you're done, it might be easier if you poke it to flip it. 
Should I get it all the way covered? Okay, now can, let, let it drip a little bit there and then drop it in here. You think that's good enough? Yeah. even better if you push it on. Put it right there. Put it on there? Yep, put it right there. But you gotta make sure that part's covered. I know. Make sure it's covered in batter. This one's gonna be a big steak. What's a batter? <laughs> all right, this is all Every part time. of the assembly line. It helps to have a lot of helpers. Because it does get your fingers a little messy. Just have the one that's just standing there. This is gonna be a while if you wanna. Or you yeah, we'll, we'll we'll pause the video. Pause the video and, and resume we'll be right this back. and show you uh, what it looks like when we fry it. We'll All right, ready. we're back, and uh, now that the chicken fried steak is nice and prepared, we have the oil here, and as you can see, it's starting to pop. It's starting to pop. My normal test is just drop a little cracker crumb in there. Ooh! All right, I ain't put this in. So here we go. Three in at a time, kind of fill it up, and then I put my little grease popper keeper. Splash guard, yeah, splash guard. Splash guard up there. So just a safety tip, always have a lid, just in case you have a grease fire, that you can put the grease fire out. So we have a lid available. And uh, what kind of oil are we using? We are using Hill Country Fair's finest, canola oil. Canola oil, there we go. Okay. I'm sure you can use other oils, yes. but this is... Any oils will do. Yeah. Every now and then I just kind of peek under there, see right. what's going on. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to get popped. <laughs> Still needs about another 30 to 60 seconds before I flip it over. And then meanwhile, we have broccoli and uh, some, some potatoes. Some mashed potatoes going. You some know, butter potatoes. You can pick your fixing uh, or side of your choice, but uh, those pairs. That's what we picked. Yeah, that's pairs of little chicken. I use a little jalapper. Yep. Some pinchers. Yep. Some pinchers. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. You want it to be golden brown on the on the yeah. bottom before you flip it over. That's right. Very yeah. important to cook meat fully. <laughs> it is. All, All right. right. Let me check it out. See. Uh, yep. See how nice and golden brown that is. Woo wee! That's when you know it's ready to be flipped over. Second side doesn't take as long as the first. So we'll give it. Our hungry helpers are right yes. here. Eager to eat the chicken fried steak. Alright, they've been frying for a few minutes on the second side. These look like they are done to me. Okay, check the bottom, make sure you don't see any little blood or whatever coming from the top. And then over here I have a plate with some paper towels on it to kind of soak up some of the, the, the grease. So go ahead and take them out, let them drip a little bit. And then start your next batch. We'll be back. Right, the chicken fried steak is all done now. And we all have a very good looking meal. And we have here our chicken fried steak. We, uh, like we said earlier, we paired it with broccoli. We dipped the broccoli in a little bit of a, a garlic butter sauce and have some uh, butter potatoes. And it uh, looks really good. So everybody enjoy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll bon see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.